So when you make your decision on load versus activate, is it based on if you're actually on a flight plan, hey, they're going to be running you, vectoring you this way, this way, so you just load it? If you're, if you're on a course to a waypoint that they've given you, or you expect them to be vectoring you, then you just load it. Because if you activate it, it's just going to plot a course to Woker from wherever you are. So in this case, you can do either, because that's basically where we're going. But if they tell you to expect it, but you're on a course to wherever, they've given you a waypoint, don't activate it. there. So your map functions, I don't know if you're looking at that. So you can turn things on and off on the map. So we have traffic on, we have the topo on, we don't have the terrain on. Uh, and next rad we can turn on when you're in the air. You can't run terrain and next rad at the same time because they use kind of the same color codings to show rain as they do uh, terrain. I usually leave terrain off unless I'm in the mountainous areas. Because when you come in for a landing, all of a sudden, all the green starts turning red, and it kind of gets distra distracting to me. If I'm flying and I'm in, around mountains, I'll leave terrain on to help me keep track of what's going on. Uh, let's say I have next right on. But airways, topo, traffic's kind of the standard on that. Okay. And we're on GPS. I'm check on one. We'll get with ground over there. No park and brake. We'll do a brake check before we taxi. Okay. All right. Clear left, clear right. Today I'm flying with Ken. Uh, it's our third flight together, I think. He's working on his instrument. And we're up and do some approaches today. Uh, I haven't flown this plane much. And we flew yesterday in uh, extremely gusty, turbulent conditions. And uh, a bit of a challenge, I would say. Uh, when we landed yesterday, we had to go uh, crosswind uh, 17, gusting 26. Came back to Concord. Hopefully today will go a little better. Okay. Alright, landing light on. All the altimeters are set. We're in takeoff flaps. Fuel pump needs to be on. Rich. Our board. To take off. To take off and pull us tank, which can't go wrong today. Okay. All right, two, we're showing two. Right rudder. We pull back. There we go, green. There she's live, there's 50. Lots of there already. Yeah, it does feel much better today. Typically, adjust your prop now, or once you turn on uh, course. Well, usually, what I did my my thing is I'll pull the flaps up first. Give that a second for the airspeed to settle down, and then pull my RPMs back. Mercury six zero four golf concord runway two V Alpha. Okay. Clear to the right. Up. Oh, turn out on course. All right, all right, kill the fuel pump. And just do an initial lean check. Wait a moment. I don't know that we said we're all right. Did I give you a copy of this chart? No. Is that the POH? I'll have to get it. So, you know, we're not going that far, but for crews at 65% power, they give you the rating. So, 1,000 feet would be 23.8 on the manifold, 2,200 on the RPM. We can run 23 square, 24 square, something like that for the amount of distance we're going. But these are your kind of your best combos. Uh, 65% is generally what I what I run when I'm going somewhere. It tells you what you what they think your fuel consumption should be. Now that we leveled off, let's check this again. Uh, it's a little, we're a little hot. All right, so we're heading direct to Woker. Uh, we don't need to do any kind of turn in the or turn in lieu of. Hold in lieu of procedure turn or any of that kind of stuff. Oh. We have for an accident video. Yeah. So 108, so we talked about this yesterday in that video. GPS is going to pull up that ILS for us. Correct. It'll we'll still look for it to right. ID. 
Right, it'll automatically switch to localizer, but you do need to confirm that. And since we're not running autopilot, you really shouldn't have to do anything. So as we get into Woker, they're above 3,000 feet. Uh, crossing Woker, we're going to do the ILS. We'll, we'll start the descent down to 2,400 until we pick up the glide slope. Now, now fly level. All right, once you pass Woker, fly level until the glide slope comes down to you. And start descending to follow the glide slope. The glide slope at Woker is going to be above you. Right, because it shoots up from the ground. I thought we were supposed to cross it at 2,400 to... Uh, John, John B, you cross at 2,400. Yes. The Woker, if we start descending at Woker, we're probably going to stay under the glide slope for too long. But we'll just fly level, let the glide slope come down. And then intercept it. And then if you're on glide slope, you should be at 2400 at jump. Okay. Alright, so the winds are still coming from the southwest. That's fine. Come in, we'll do all circle to land, we'll do a full stop. Then you can get reprogrammed for, uh, we'll try the other end. Alright, so just give me a quick rundown when we, about, well, so we're on an ILS, so about one dot above glide slope intercept. We're going to start configuring for our for our approach. What what's our configuration going to be? Um, we'll we'll go through the flow. I guess just slightly before glide slope, landing light. Uh, we'll go mixture pull ridge, prop pull ridge. We're going to get down to 90 knots. Uh, landing gear is already down. And uh, one notch of flaps. Take off. Yeah, like one and then we'll ride that all the way down oh, yeah, until we get to yeah, where I say, hey, you're out of the clouds. Um, and then, then you would normally just configure for landing. Now, in this case, we'll just I keep that going right in the downwind for our circle to land. Because um, you're pretty much set up for base at that point. Oh, the other thing, too, we forgot. Turn on your runway lights. for a non-towered airport. So when you do all that configuration, give the clicks. Uh, so you get your poppy and your lights and everything. All right, so your CDI has changed to localizer, has ID as Davidson, and you've got glide slopes. So you see your glide slopes pegged all the way off the top of the scale. So just maintain your 3,000 and let her come to you. All right, so you got a 27 knot wind coming out of the, what, about 10, 11 o'clock area, but knock on wood, we're fairly smooth air. Davidson County, Diamond 526 Sierra, 10 miles uh, to the south, practice island 6, Davidson County. Right. So the last slope starting to come down, so just maintain level. And when she gets down to that next dot, you can start your configuration. Is there a certain, I know it changes the pressure, but is there a certain manifold pre pressure you're kind of targeting with you? Uh, I usually yank you back to like 10 or 12 until I get my speed and then back in. All right, we're below flaps deployment. Okay, one notch. Who's up? You finish your flow check, right. Full, full fuel pump. Don't climb, don't climb. There you go. And so now, see, now we got slow. So nose down and you're way above your glide slope. So nose her down, get back to that glide slope and give her a little power. Now, once that glide slope starts coming in, you get close to it, uh, it's very easy to get off of it. All right, so this is the part where we're just going to have to work our power and our pitch to stay around 90. If you want to stay just a skosh above glide slope, that's fine. Right in there is fine. If the tip of that diamond's just touching the line, um, that's a good spot to be. Gives you a little bit of play. Right, put your throttle back here. About 10 knots fast, there you go. And you call your five mile. Davidson County traffic, 526 Delta Sierra, five miles south on the ILS 6, Davidson County. All right, so we got the lights, we got the fuel pump, we got the flaps, we got that full. What's the one thing we forgot? Uh, make sure rich prop, uh, fuel pump, on flaps. How are we gonna see the runway when we pop out of the clouds? There you right. go. There you Lights. 
a controlled airport. Right? We're a little right, of course. I've got a nice little 25 knot wind trying to push you off course. Davidson County Airport. Automated weather observation. Excellent. You're set because you're below, right? Three, seven, Zulu weather, wind, three, four, zero, at five, visibility. Three, four, zero, five, we can just go straight in. All right, on runway six. Uh, we'll forget the circle. 1,500. Very feet to go. Buck that altitude should have. All right, so we'll scrap the circle to land and we'll just do an approach when I clear you out of the clouds. Okay, we just broke out of the clouds. Okay. Now we can slow her down to our approach speed. Get your last notch of flaps when you're ready. Right on glide slope. Minimum. Minimum. Davidson County, 5 for 322 Echo Foxtrot, taxiing to runway 6 via Alpha, Davidson County. level for a little bit till we get our glide slope back. Watch your speed, there you go. Alright, now let's angle point right at the top of that six. Touched. Okay. All right, so let's pull. I'm gonna pull your flaps up. As soon as you get a moment when you're settled down, pull those flaps up. Get rid of that lip. She won't be so happy puppy on you. All right. So you ballooned her just a skosh, but you you got her back. It wasn't a hard touchdown. Just a little offline. Okay. Your approach was good. You were a little left, of course. Left. Yep. But you were fighting that wind, so that wasn't terrible. Yeah. The wind shifted according to what they're saying, so this was actually the better runway. It's only your second touchdown, right? So, I mean, yeah, we're, we're, getting, we're getting with it. All right, so still a little bumpy out, but not near as bad as yet. Near as bad as yet, that's right. 